In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a classic restaurant flyer like this. And we start right now. going on my name is Dennis if this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and get lots of tech reviews start by clicking the subscribe button and hit on the bell so you won't miss any video before we start you need to know the size you are working with so I will have to change my workspace to a5 size and after the double click on the rectangle to to have this shape here and right click here to take off the outline and add white fill then I have to add my type by clicking the type to the text to rather and start typing this Now this is the company name I'll be working with in this flyer and I'll change my typeface to high sky. And I have some resources here I'll be using to make this flyer and this is the logo and the pictures I'll be using and also the icons I'll be using. So first I will import the logo to the design. I won't like to use this logo like this. I have to take off the round part of this logo. So all I will do is click on the ellipse tool and press control while dragging the circle to have a correct circle. Once you are okay, centralize the circle with your logo. Happy with that, click on the circle and press shift and click on the logo. Then you will see this here and you click on intersect then your logo will be out you can delete this off reduce your logo and put it here take note this type will remain 24 points here can still reduce this logo more than this and take this upwards now I want to give this cousin a different color by pressing ctrl K to break it and click on the eye drop tool so I can pick this color here and fill it on the cousin and this is what I've got next I want to do is to create a shape here using my pen to I would like to fill in this shape with yellow and I'm using deep yellow right click here to take off the outline and using the interactive fill tool I will fill this yellow with red click and drag and add red here and next I would like to 
duplicate this by clicking to get this to get this round point here that so can drag this upwards and right click before you leave to duplicate this shape and click on the first shape press shift and click on the second shape then you will see these options here you click on trim and this other shape is cut out alone and take that up a little now i will reverse the fill to this other side this time i'll adjust the feel better than the first one and this is what we have got click on this and reduce it down and next i want to do is to create circles by using the ellipse tool remember to press ctrl while enlarging your circle and i will right click on this color here to give it this outline and increase the outline by two points duplicate your circles reduce this a little and duplicate again sorry duplicate this again and this is what we have got okay uh, I will like to put everything inside a power clip so I'll be able to work with this and all I have to do is to select everything here Ctrl G and copy and right click on everything you selected and bring it to this empty space where you can Power click inside the square and once you leave you see this option power click inside and click it's now inside the shape and press ctrl and click on the shape to open your power clip you can delete this off and press ctrl v this of uh, this command helps you to paste what you already copied to its original position on group and I will import the pictures I have for this flyer and bring it in here. Right click and drag to the first circle and power clip inside. Do the same to the next one. Right click and drag, power clip inside. Right click and drag then power clip inside I have to set the circles and resize them very well here and when editing your power clip press alternate and click inside so you can select your power clip and do the same to this other one here and this is done I can adjust this again to three okay now I'm good to go press control and close your power clip next I want to do is to type in the contact details
and I will change the font size, the type, and also the font size to 14. This will be here, and right click before you leave to duplicate this, and this will serve as the Okay, and next I would like to do is to add the Instagram handle which is click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate. Select all by pressing Ctrl A. And once this is done centralize this by clicking the text and shift and click on the shape then press c to centralize and you can space this and i will import my symbols And next, I would like to type in this. And I'll change my font to New Scott. Centralize and reduce this and bring it here. And I want to lighten my background a little by reducing the fill here. Press Ctrl and close your power clip and I like to enlarge this a little bit and do this change your case to title case sorry this should be capital press shift and click on the shape and press C to centralize that and we are almost done and i would like to give this background here a texture by using this as a background right click and bring it inside the shape then power click inside and enlarge it remember to press alternate while you click on the shape to edit your power clip Press Ctrl and page down till it gets to the back of the design. 
then click on your transparency tool and click uniform transparency to reduce the transparency of the image and adjust the transparency like this and fill in your shape with pale yellow and use the interactive fill tool to reduce this while making this other part of your design white and up here yellow and lastly i will add the venue sorry for adding this last change the font to this and the size to 14 thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time